So in today's blessing, that is 14th of July's blessing, Supreme Father wants us to use silence as a faculty, as a facility of the mind, as a practice of the mind, which we can use to distance ourselves from Maya or the negative thoughts in our mind. So may you use the facilities of silence to recognize Maya from a distance and chase her away and become a conqueror of Maya. Let's get into the details. Godfather says, Maya will come until the last moment. So it's a tussle, it's a fight between the impure and the pure. See, we are facing this world where we are getting inputs from the world also which are pure, impure, positive, negative. And you understand that 90% of the things in the world could be perceived as negative and uh, remaining 10% can be positive. If you put on the news channel, if you put on your YouTube, mostly things are coming into the world as positive and negative. So it decides what exactly is the state of the world. So till the last moment we have to face Maya. That means till the last moment, till the time you are seeing from the eyes, you are hearing from your ears, you have to hear both negative and positive. So we have to face the negative also till the last breath, till the time we are in this body. So Maya will come until the last moment, but it is Maya's duty to come and it is your duty to chase her away from a distance. That means I can choose to react to the negative situations or I can choose to accept them or I can choose to accept the positive and the pure situations. That depends upon the kind of power which I have. Now this power which I get is going to be coming from the Supreme Godfather with the help of meditation. Then I, it will be easy for me to choose the positive over the negative. If Maya comes and shakes you and you then chase her away, this is also a waste of time. That means we were so engaged in the worldly things and suddenly a situation comes, it affects us, we get jolted, we get affected, we get shaken up, why is this happened, what happened? And then we are like, no, 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 I have to remove this negative thought, it's because of the negative thinking which I did, it's because of negative feelings which I had. So that takes a lot of time, God is saying. Therefore, with the facilities of silence, that means when we are we are in meditation early in the morning or one hour we spend in a day, we meditate. Then again, one hour we spend in a day, we meditate. Or we are conscious at least about silencing our mind from thinking about the worldly things silence it put a full stop see of speed breaker slow down the mind recognize that that is maya from a distance so we can recognize that yes negative thoughts can come because of this situation from a distance do not let her come close to you that means do not let impure thoughts impure feelings come close to us we should ward them off from far away itself that means we are not going deep into thinking about negative thoughts so if you think what can i do how can I do this? I am still an effort maker. Oh, I have not yet meditated so long. I don't have the practice of meditation so long. I don't have the power so much of power as this person or that person. Or I am not able to fight over the negatives in me. It is like offering hospitality to Maya. So God's saying it's like you're telling Maya or you're telling negative thoughts that you're most welcome to enter my house. I have not yet practiced how to lock my house. You can come inside, you're telling a thief, you can come inside because I don't know how to shut it nicely. When I learn how to shut my door nicely or when I know learn how to lock my door nicely, then you won't be able to come. Till that time you can come. So it's the same thing as you're telling negative thoughts. It's okay, you can come into my mind. I'm not, I've not practiced how to ward you off or how to push you away. But it's okay, you can come and over a period of time, I'll find out a way not to let you inside my mind's house. So it's very foolish, right? So God says, therefore recognize her from a distance and chase her away and you will become a conqueror of Maya. Therefore, recognize her from a distance. Recognize Maya, negative thoughts from a distance and chase her away and you will become a conqueror of Maya. Om Shanti.